Did you know that the shift key can modify text and shapes inside of the Seesaw Canvas? Stick around while I show you how the shift key can level up your activities. Hey everybody and welcome! We're going to be using these four seesaw shapes to model and demonstrate the ways you can adjust shapes and text using the shift key. Before I get started, I want to show you just normal clicks on any shape. You can see when I do this, the aspect is going to stay the same, there's 90 degree corners and I can't make a ton of customizations. But if I click on our shape, hold the shift key, if I grab this middle adjuster, I can now modify the shape vertically up and down, changing it into an awesome new shape that I didn't have before. Another modification I can make is hold the shift key and grab our bottom adjuster. This is a super fast way to make a parallelogram just like this that I can give to my students. The other adjustment is to hold shift and grab our corner adjuster. You can see if I don't hold shift and I adjust my heart, everything stays the same no matter where I go with my mouse. But if I hold the shift key, I can smash this down, I can stretch it up vertically, I can modify it in any way, shape, or form just by holding the awesome shift key. I can do the same with the star in many other seesaw shapes, again, just by holding the shift key. The same thing works for text. In Seesaw, we have six text options available, but we can use the shift key to create almost endless variations of what these texts look like. The first adjustment is how to italicize any text. I'm gonna hold the shift key, grab our bottom adjuster, and pull this to the left or pull it to the right to create reversed italicize. The second adjustment is to grab our corner. I can hold shift, grab the corner adjuster to stretch our text super tall or grab our text in the corner to smash our text down below. Another adjustment is to hold shift and grab our side middle adjuster. This allows me to put the text at an angle. Maybe it's going down a hill or maybe it's going up a hill just like this by just grabbing the side middle adjuster. Now all of these adjustments are wonderful in themselves, but I can also combine them all and do them all to one single text box. If I take this text box, I can hold shift and italicize the words. I can then grab the corner, hold shift, and stretch out the words so they're really tall. And then I can also hold shift and grab the side middle adjuster to make them go at an angle. When I finish these changes, I can adjust this text box as I normally would when I'm not holding shift. I can pull this side in so that my text is on two lines, and then I can grab the corner and make this nice, big, and bold so that it absolutely pops inside of the Seesaw Canvas. I hope you found this video helpful. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to go to web.seesaw.me lessons to see what we're working on next. Thank you so much for watching.